open up the opportunity for us to say, how is it possible that a team that scores 10 goals on the weekend, last weekend were only able to put in one shot on target? And so that's the inconsistency with Real Madrid. That one week they look like world beaters, and then the next weekend, not so much. And a lot of that has to do with the shoulders of one Rafa Benitez. But explosive as explosive as they are, and as talented as they are in the final third, and we saw it all on display today. However, people who criticize Real Madrid, even after this result, will say, yeah, but they only did that when they were up against nine men. And they were only against nine men from a crazy manager who decided, well, instead of, you know, defending, we've got, we'll go for it. <laughs> well, anybody who says that, for me, is probably correct. At 2-1 down, mm -hmm. this was a shambles for Real Madrid, an absolute shambles. And the fact that Tito makes a stupid challenge and gets sent off completely changes his game. Again, we could have been sitting talking about something else had they not been down to nine men. The referee definitely has had a hand in this 10-2 They'd have won line. this game eventually, though, wouldn't they? You hope so. Well, <laughs> but you, can't, you can't say that. Yeah, after, after Real Madrid went one up, I certainly watched it went on. I, I, I may as well just turn it off now. And then the next minute, it's 2-1 down because they're not that great. Defensively, they're shocking. <laughs> but they just won 10-2. Against nine men. <laughs> But you still have to score the 10 goals, right? I mean, <laughs> 10 goals is a big number. <laughs> that is I, a big I get number. what you're saying, but Jack, 10 goals. Conceded it's 10 impressive. goals. No, hmm. not conceded 10. I can see with a smile on my face. <laughs> now 11, yes. 